Thank you for joining me today. <gasps> you know you're dating an Englishman when... Uh... Let's see. Deja vu. That's a glitch in the matrix. Billiards! Do you guys po call it pool or billiards? I want to know. Hey, you, you checking out that girl by the bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just the one in the black? No, just be cool. Be she's, cool. She's good looking. Go for it. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. Yeah, I'll no, I will, to her. I will. What are you waiting for? Listen, I will. Honestly. Okay. Let's just fly, yeah. We just beat her ass in the game first, okay? You got it. You got it. Come on, dude. It's all you. <laughs> A good wingman. He is more than squirmish. He is more than squeamish about the idea of approaching a woman. Ooh, kind of shots fired there. What are you trying to say? Hey, at least he's doing it. It ain't easy out here, okay? A lot of beer or Dutch courage is needed. <laughs> That's typical for most men around the world. Hey, um, so. Whoa! She's into you, bro, and you didn't even do anything. That's a really pretty dress. Like, my mom has one just like that. What did he just say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, you're really, really pretty. You're, uh. Just stop talking, bro. She liked it before you said anything. It is, like, I can fit your face really well. No, sorry. You're really pretty. Hey, I'm, I'm Luke. I'm Luke. There we go. Yeah. Stare at the glass. Forget conventional compliments. <laughs> Backhanded compliments, taunting and teasing is your sign that he's interested. That could get confusing. Oops. So I had like a really good time? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. I had like a really <laughs> pretty shitty time with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kiss me. Oh. I'll, like, can I call you? Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Yeah, I'll yeah. call you on the phone. Okay, okay mm. pick up. Yeah. All right, I'll call you. All right, you better pick it up, okay? I'll be watching you. <laughs> pick it up. I'll know. The English guys tend to be quite reserved, shy, and understated. Huh. I don't... Uh, based off what I've seen at the football games and stuff, that's not the case. But okay. I'll take your word for it. Alcohol always helps. It's longer, like they go back longer, you know, they, they were overrated from Liverpool. I can't believe he just said that. There will always be someone drooling over his accent. In England? Where are we at right now? Especially if you live in North, well, yeah, that's for sure. Boss came in and who would have thought I'd be doing that then, you know? Crazy. Um, I'm not... Yo, yo, yo. This is the girl in the black dress over here, okay? This is her man. I'm from Birmingham, so it's... Quit licking on them like that. Yeah, okay. London. Yeah. I want to visit there. Not every man sounds like Prince William, Harry Potter, or Hugh Grant. Doesn't that contradict what the last one was? <laughs> England has a huge variety of accents. P.S. This was not a Brummy accent. I don't know what a Brummy accent is. I thought you were doing groceries. Uh, I did. Uh, Are they married beans. now? Beans, because you know we love beans. Uh, I got your know, nature's beans, peas. Uh, did he steal them in his purse? And uh, I got some fish. Now you like fish, so a bit of tuna. So we're all good. But what did you get for breakfast? Don't worry, got you covered in a can. Dessert? Yep, don't worry, your favorite spotted dick. <laughs> your favorite spotted dick. Okay, so the Englishmen like to, you know, be stock up in case of the apocalypse or something? Why is it all canned food? Can I don't think it comes in a can. His taste in food is simple. If you let him do the grocery shopping, almost alone. You know, this background is messing me up. 
screwing with my brain. If you let him do the grocery shopping alone, most of the things might come in cans. Interesting. Is there something wrong with your pizza? <laughs> no, it's... It's just not canned. It's great. It's just like today's Sunday. Sunday roast is what I'd have back in the UK, so... Oh, yeah. poor guy. That sounds really good, though. Sunday roast. So just, just imagine, like, dark, fat, roasted potatoes. Meat, like, so many types of meat. So much. Your pigs wrapped in bacon. Yorkshire pudding, soft, fluffy. And then it's just literally drizzled in gravy. Is he trying to, like, be... Is this, like, an innuendo? What is going on here? I feel uncomfortable. Whew. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good. <laughs> what the heck? Don't miss Sunday roast. He loves Sunday roast. Hey, what's up? Just... Seemed like she loved it too, listening to it. I can't believe this week I lost my job, my dog died, and my house burned down. <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. That'll fix it. He solves every problem. Let us put the kettle on. Come on. Why would you? Uh, you wouldn't make that run, would you? Rooney, move, move, move! Ah! This is literally every man playing video games anywhere. Hey, dinner in an hour? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just putting my shoes on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Hit it. Hit it. Ah! Oh. Tackling. I'm guessing English men play a lot more FIFA though. Tackling, tackling, take him down away. No, absolutely. No, I'm absolutely. I'm just. I'm just. That was domestic violence. Just coming. Literally, like, foot in the shoe. Just kidding, YouTube. Don't demonetize my video. Gosh. Little little man at YouTube listening. It wasn't actually DV. Leaving. I'm literally leaving. This is me going out the door. I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, two minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Yeah, two, two seconds, mate. Two, two seconds. Shoot! Shoot! This is how you know you're dating a man who's like between 30 and 24. Right here, 24 and 30. When football is involved, it can be very tough to get his attention. Unless your name is Rooney. <laughs> who's Rooney? Some football player, huh? Wayne Rooney. I wonder how he's been doing. Has he been scoring a lot of goals in the World Cup? All right. Anyway, that was fun. Hey guys, I. That was very fun. Go check out <gasps> Dating Beyond Borders. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. For more UK reactions, you know what it is. Either way, I'll see you here tomorrow because I'll be here and I hope you are too. Have a good day. Goodbye.